Paul Jackson Pollock was an American painter and a major figure in the abstract expressionist movement, known for his free associative gestures during painting called action painting. One of his techniques involves pouring or splashing liquid household paint onto a horizontal surface, which allows him to paint and view the canvas from all angles. Another method of painting used by him was covering the whole canvas with paint and then dance and use his whole body movement to adjust the layers of the paint above. I usually paint on the floor. I enjoy working on a large canvas. I feel more at home, more at ease in a big area. Having the canvas on the floor, I feel nearer, more a, a part of the painting. Sometimes I use a brush, but often prefer using a stick. Sometimes I pour the paint straight out of the can. Jackson Pollock was born on a sheep ranch in Cody, Wyoming, on January 28, 1912. It was a poor family, and Jackson was the youngest of five boys. His family moved a lot and in 1928 he enrolled at Manual Arts High School, Los Angeles. During his early life, Pollock explored Native American culture while on surveying trips with his father. He was also heavily influenced by Mexican muralists. Pollock was introduced to the use of liquid paint in 1936 at an experimental workshop in New York City by the Mexican muralist David Alfaro Saqueros. His canvases from the early 1940s, such as male and female and composition with pouring eye were painted with his developing drip technique. His totem lesson one and eyes in the heat shows the range of imagery and technique he employed during this period. Jackson Pollock was the first American painter to capture the popular imagination. And the modern artist has found new ways and new means of making his statement. It seems to me that the modern painter cannot express this age the airplane, the atom bomb, the radio, in the old forms of the Renaissance or of any other past culture. In Pollock's greatest paintings, I think the energy is clearly there, that whiplash line, the gestures, etc. But there's also a feeling of being able to enter these paintings because they are big. Uh, there's, with all the energy, a great calm. It's not just a feeling of of grandness, but also a feeling of, of intimacy and quiet. I don't work from drawings or color sketches. My painting is direct. Having the canvas on the floor, I feel nearer, more of a part of the painting. This way I can walk around it, work from all four sides, and be in the painting. A method of painting is the natural growth out of a need. There was an atmosphere, gentle and delicate and tough and aggressive, and somehow they're all that at the same time. That's very unusual. No one thought to look at it, use it, or to even count it as art. He's making paintings in a new way. He's putting them on the floor. The brush is never touched to the canvas. Instead, there's a physical dance around the canvas. There is no perspective in Pollock's painting. There is no narrative in Pollock's painting. It all happens at once. And I want to remind you, going back to the caves, the first paintings ever made were often made with paint like this. And you would move your hand away. And that physical action, that physical dance, left the impression of where you were. I want to express my feelings rather than illustrate them. Technique is just a means of arriving at a statement. I can control the flow of the paint. There is no accident, just as there is no beginning and no end. Pollock died at the age of 44 in a single car accident. In four months after his death, Pollock was given a memorial retrospective exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City and later in the Tate in London. I think that sense of American space, uh, scale, size, uh, had a tremendous impact on uh, Pollock's work. I also think uh, the mobility itself, uh, the speed, the energy, was all part of the American experience and I think is not unique to Pollock, although I, f I feel that his particular image e expressed it so well. Jackson Pollock is one of the American artists who managed to gain such popularity during his lifetime, but ironically, 
he was more appreciated abroad and did not profit financially from his fame while alive. He was loved and hated by critics, they called him Jack the Dripper and often was interpreted through his personal life, involving alcoholism and social awkwardness. But he remained an example to the generation of artists, drawn to happenings, pop art, and op art with his dedication to painting. A modern artist, I, it seems to me, is working and expressing a, uh, uh, an inner world. In other words, uh, expressing the energy, the motion, and other inner forces. A modern artist is working with uh, space and time and expressing his feelings rather than illustrating. Well, he's had a tremendous influence on uh, an awful lot of people. And uh, the, the best influence, of course, is, is uh, when they go out to try and find themselves. I think that's one of the most important things about Pollock's work, actually, is that uh, it isn't so much what you're looking at, but it's what's happening to you while you're looking at his particular work. In 2016, Pollock's painting titled Number 17A was reported to have fetched $200 million in a private purchase. One of his greatest paintings, uh, Lavender Mist, I think is one of the most calm and lyrical paintings that an American ever painted. 